the start of the bomber enterprise here in Europe began at the beginning of the Cold War. In the Netherlands, the foreign ministers of five nations began a conference on what to do next about the Soviet starvation blockade of Berlin. The last of America's armada of 60 super forts has reached England and is ready to begin what army leaders have said are practice maneuvers. Yet, who can doubt that the real reason for the presence of the B-29 is to show Russia we are not backing down. We had just uh, demobilized after World War II. We, the United States, along with our British and French partners, were doing occupation duty. Uh, but we didn't intend on maintaining a large troop presence here in Europe. When tensions rose with the Soviet Union, especially with the Berlin blockade and the subsequent airlift, we didn't have the forces in theater to necessarily respond uh, on the ground, so to speak. So one of the ways we could do that was with strategic air power. And leaders in America and the UK decided that we needed that reassurance. We needed some capability in Europe to be able to respond if um, tensions with the Soviet Union escalated. The initial uh, B-29 strategic bombers that were brought to the UK were here on a rotational basis. Um, first they were here for 30 days, and then they realized they needed them longer, so 60 days, and then pretty soon 90 days. And from that point forward, then both the American and British governments agreed that they could be here indefinitely. The United States uh, began looking at other locations in Europe. So by the middle of the 1950s, we have this huge bomber enterprise all across the continent. After the end of the Cold War, key operations that bombers from Europe were involved in, in the 1990s in particular, were the Gulf War in 1991. You see them used again during Kosovo operations in 1999, and then a little bit later during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. So those operations were using those bombers that we had agreed that we would continue to rotate over. One of the very clear reasons for bringing bombers to Europe was that deterrence mission that still remains a key part of what they do here on the continent. Many of the units that still fly over here today were some of the very ones that began it 70 years ago. So in that essence, I think they should be proud uh, of a legacy that they're carrying on with.